Welcome. Today we have um, our fun, our fun special guest. Nick is not green. It's me. Or or is he? Keep that out. Take that Stay out of the tuned. video. They're not gonna Stay like that. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> so germbot lore. Let's get into the lore yep. here, right? Open your books. I'm gonna open my little germbot lore book right here, and we're gonna talk about 2019. Basically, I made a YouTube video and I was like very super relatable quirky guy, right? That was like how I started my whole YouTube journey. I was like, oh, I I'm I sit in my house and I'm pale. I love the internet. I fucking I I I changed the industry. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Nothing's been the same. You got you got twelve streamies that year. <laughs> I really did, and each of the award titles were just question marks because they were like, "What do you do?" They were like, eh, "Just give it to him. I, I, he he deserves it. We don't know what for." They're like, "Give it to him and call the Uber." Um. <laughs> so my recommended looked very different back in the day, and okay. during this time, there was a thing that was popularized that I thought was hilarious, which is first date vlogs. These people will go on their dates and. And, I mean, I, I think there are some where they just kind of show up with a camera, which is even more incredible, to be quite <laughs> honest. But they'll basically be like, oh, yeah, so I'm a YouTuber. Can I record our date? And the other person's like, yeah. Which, first off, what? Who has the gall and the confidence to go on a first date with somebody and be like, hey, do you mind if I take out my fucking Canon EOS with a fucking, <laughs> like, mic attachment and sit here at dinner with it in your goddamn face? Like, oh, if you man. have the if you have the confidence. The gumption. <laughs> the gumption. So if you've got the gumption to say that. Are you sure that's a real word? Let's get it started with our first, our first date as a polygamous couple. Love the vibes already. You know, you've got a family emoji, a heart emoji, and then a devil emoji. Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy, Cap Dallas, man. The hottest Latino man. He's the hottest Latino man? I don't know who he was up against, but I'm happy for him, I guess. Let me tell you, he was up against a lot of Latinos. A lot of them? Uh huh. That was that. Was I met this fancy ass Brazilian steakhouse. I can't even pronounce the name. So. Oh, wow, they came out of nowhere. I thought he was alone this whole time. I thought he was waiting for them. Wait, I'm obsessed with this already. Holy shit. Come on, budget. Come on, acting, scripting. And I'm here with my two girlfriends. So, let's just see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is the move. They're like, and in case you forgot, we're polygamous. That's my beautiful girl, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. That's my beautiful girl, Dream. We seem to be getting along, right? Mm -hmm. We're getting along so now. Far, so good. Yeah. We're getting along. Interesting. Interesting language. Also, what time did six period end for drinks? Because <laughs> she's looking a little. <laughs> no. She's looking a little young. He took us out to eat. He didn't even bring me a water. Nothing. I mean, cause Ooh. I, mean, I got here for late. late. I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. Well, yeah, the bus was late. Like. like the bus was late. See, it's uh three thirty. I actually I just got home a little bit late. This is okay. this is weird. It's like you're sitting across the restaurant and you're watching them have a conversation, and it's like really awkward. Because none of them are like camera like comfortable on camera yet. What's the other girl's name again? Hannah. Yes. Yeah, Hannah and Dream. Dream. <gasps> Wait. I think we figured Dream. out who Dream is. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I just want to show you what it's like to date. Two girls at one time. Two girls at one time. No, that's a throwback. When you said the eight popped in my hand, I don't know why. But yeah, man, and yeah. It's pretty <laughs> But yeah, man, and yeah. Cuts just to him also sitting there in silence. But yeah, man, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to today's sponsor, Adam and Eve. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, E. Adam and Eve is the number one adult retailer in the country. They are popular. You've heard of them. Adam and Eve has been in business for over 50 years now, which makes them one of the longest standing adult retailers. They also offer 24 seven customer support and 90 days, no hassle returns. So if you're interested, go ahead and click the link in my description and be sure to use code germbot at checkout for 50% off one item and free shipping in the US and Canada. Thank you, Adam and Eve for sponsoring this video and without further ado let's um let's watch some more people go on dates right this is my first time doing this and i can't lie it's a different experience how do you like it mm, i'm getting used to it you're getting used to yeah. it something new yeah, i love it <laughs> 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 
They're like, I don't know. Like, I'm still kind of in the middle on it. I'm not really sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting comfortable with it. We'll see how it goes. I love it. Got nothing else to say. I love it. Sorry. Wait, yeah, let's get some food, though. <laughs> Why did he leave that long in? You need to turn this into one of those like memes and say POV, you're a piece of food that fell on the Cap Dalla's lap. Right now he's going, ooh, something just fell. Let me <laughs> let me dab that up on my napkin real quick. What's going on? <laughs> Team with two girls is definitely different. I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's a, it got its ups and downs. Um, I mean, you definitely want to spend more money. Oh, for sure. Be sure about that. You definitely want to spend more money. Dinero problems. Yep. Mm-hmm. I feel that. He's just listing facts right now. Being with two girls, uh, there's ups and downs. It's different. So when when you're with two girls, the thing is, is that you're dating two girls. And oh shoot, I never thought yeah. about it like that. Well, no, and that's the thing is it's you and then you have a girlfriend and then it's almost like you have another girlfriend. Oh no, there's another one. Uh-huh, so it's like you're, you're like dating two girls. So you basically what you have. If you're a broke nigga, don't get two girlfriends. Yeah, so if you're a broke nigga, you cannot. <laughs> He's like, look at my ancestry, 0.53%. Oh man. Whew. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we can't we can't assume his race. Um Latino. If you get money like me, you know what I'm saying? You can have two girlfriends, three girlfriends, but let me not push you because then my girl might be my ass for real. There's like this special type of person that exists, and it's usually someone who's not black who says the n-word i love that they do this thing where they always relate every single little thing happening in their life back to money yeah yeah it's like always it's always like money. you know i have money so it's not a problem yeah, i have yeah. money so it is a problem <laughs> like it's like which one is it i'm trying to get him drunk so you know as soon as we get out of here um... <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Don't ever say that, actually. <laughs> Why did he say that? You can't just cover it up with that fucking YouTube ass bottle cork sound effect transition after I still heard you. Yeah, the, the fucking Shane Dawson. Like <laughs> the insinuation is that they're not going to have sex with him unless he gets them drunk. Like that's what he sees. Literally like I'm trying to get him drunk. So, you know, after this, if we go back. Yeah, I, I will say so far, I really like the girls vibes, but you know, he, he has yet to captivate cap captivate me. <laughs> he has yet to Dallas cap Dallas cut dot cap. It really does come off. Like he hasn't really made any remarks that make it feel like he understands why people are in polygamous couples and not like just for him to have a threesome with two girls yeah i mean you know he's not at the table talking about the dynamic that we share is so special and beautiful <laughs> and these two amazing women in my life he's like i can't wait to get him drunk yeah how are you feeling after watching that um i feel like i want to go take a shower maybe we need to find something a little more a little more down our alley you know something we can really cleanse the palate with now i want to be captivated i want to be touched i want to be emotionally moved so i have hand selected another beautiful vlog for us to um really shed some tears feel some emotions just go on this beautiful roller coaster ride called life my sugar daddy experience first date vlog i am so excited <laughs> Going on a date with my sugar daddy. Oh, bitch, you better draw right and straight here. Yeah. <laughs> I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. <laughs> Why is it still going on? I just know for a fact the next three minutes are going to be her really quietly driving and occasionally making a snide comment about the other drivers on the road. And guess what? I'm fucking here for it. I'm into it. Oh, they'll watch the whole 19 minutes. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going on a date at Old Charlie's today. My bad, Charlie's. What is that? It's a restaurant that's like this Irish themed restaurant that kind of just serves everything. I only see it in the airport ever. I know this is definitely not what they're going to do, but I, I really fucking hope they're going to the airport to do it. <laughs> they go through security and everything. Oh yeah, TSA, the whole nine yards just to have Irish Denny's. Bitch, you better not turn. I motherfucking... 
He wanna talk about his computer. He don't know how to work his computer, y'all. <laughs> Is he geriatric? He's 70. He's 70. Let's make a predictions on how old he really is. I think he's gonna look like kind of in like his 50s, maybe maybe more. Yeah, but I really want him to be so old that he looks like he's mounting. I want his Uber there to be the fucking ambulance. <laughs> I want him to come in with his catheter bag and like a liquid IV. And a caretaker, two caretakers that have to go with him to the meal. And they're in a polygamous relationship <laughs> and they do not like each other. He's so fucking old, I'm not working on from a Okay, can I? Okay. She's starting to look like him. With that, with that. <laughs> oh my god, she's like straight up hiding the camera from him. <laughs> you let me know. <laughs> he is old as hell. That's an old freaking man, dude. He is either old as hell or he is a 30 year old that has been to war three times and his voice is, is aged. Damn, that is an old man. He goes, <laughs> thanks for coming out. He's like having the time of his life. It's so nice. It's so nice. I'm looking at my camera, by the way. I'm actually a model in my head. <laughs> I like your little waistline. I want to know if you really can. I said, God, why she got a nice waist? I know people told you about your waistline. I'm obsessed with, in the background, Romeo said that they And he's do. like, your waistline is nice. I love when she goes, I'm looking at the camera, by the way, and then 15 seconds of. I'm a model in my head. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is a hundred gets. This is how they make their music. They grab the sugar daddy vlogs and they speed that shit up. Have any kids? Yeah, I have a daughter 19. I have a son 17. Mm. You have a young kid. Yeah, young kid. I like young women. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's sleeping at oh. oh no. Oh. 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 What the hell is going on? What did you find here? This is insidious too. Like, what the f What is he smacking? Because we can't see him. I'm imagining him laughing and just slapping himself repeatedly. Like, thank you. Lord, thank you for this fellowship. Lord, thank you for this one. No, this could not be real. They are not saying grace before the oh charlie's chicken tendies dude she is about to eat oh charlie's chicken tendies with an old sugar daddy and he's praying to her insidious 2 paranormal activity the conjuring get out of their bunk now lord you the one who create <laughs> again we talk about gumption right like bonka has the fucking gumption she's bold she's brave and she's beautiful Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> that was an experience. It was. What's what's uh what's the moral of the story today, Nick? I think the moral of the story is that technology isn't always a good thing. We all have cameras we can carry around with our little hands. Doesn't mean we need to use them all the time. Maybe I'm a boomer like that man in the O Charlies, but you know, I think this would have been better if none of these videos ever existed. I and I, I I've got to say, yep, yep. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was that was a lot. I my brain is frazzled. I don't know where I am. Incredible experience. Thank you so much for joining me today, Nick. You know Nick. He's he's a guy. He makes videos. I'm gonna put all that right below. You better click below. That's me. Thanks for watching, everybody. This was great to be on this channel. We gotta do another outro bit, like the high five. What should we do this time? Bye. Now goodbye. Why am I also waving? It's your arm. <laughs>